everybody! In this video we're going to learn how to shift with ease. So first let's kind of revisit what we're doing with our left fingers. So we are pressing down on the strings with pretty much the tips of our fingers, right? Because we want all our fingers to be curved, you know, to have that space. You could stick a pencil through, so a little tunnel. Naturally your pinky, you know, it's shorter so it's not going to be as curved, but Try to get your pinky a little curved. You don't want it straight like that all the time, um, in general. So we're on the tips of our fingers, and while this may start to hurt, especially with shifting, um, you're going to build up tougher skin on the tips of your fingers, so don't worry about that. That will be your strength. So look forward to building up some pretty unnoticeable calluses. That will help you. So for shifting. We're just going to practice going from first position to second position, which is basically just moving a whole step up. So it's like if I were playing my first finger on D string, E, I'd be moving to my F sharp, which is normally played a whole step up with our third finger. So when we're shifting, we are leading with the elbow. We aren't leading with our fingers like this. That could get dangerous because we want to maintain our awesome form in the left hand and arm. Remember, elbow to fingertip is all one unit, so we need to lead with the elbow. When we do that, our hand follows. Another thing is that when you're shifting, we are not squeezing down the entire time. So in slow motion, you're going to release the pressure, float up, and then press down again. And my bow never stops moving during a shift. That's really important. Eventually your shift will be quick enough to where you can't hear anything in between the notes. And that's another reason why we lift a little bit of pressure off when we shift so that you can't hear that slide. And it also makes it easier on your hand and keeps your hand relaxed. So again, what you're going to do is play your note, lift a little bit of pressure off while keeping your finger in contact with the string, floop, and press down again, all while keeping your bow in motion. So this is E and F sharp. Or separate bows. to note is that as we move towards the bridge, the intervals get smaller and smaller. And what that means is that a whole step down here is going to be bigger than what a whole step really is up here. So it makes it so that if you move your finger just a little bit, it makes a bigger difference because all the notes are so close together up here. So when you are shifting, <laughs> shift up a whole step, you're going to have the same finger pattern, but all those notes I just played are going to be the tiniest bit closer together. So it's something you need to get used to um, and learn how to adjust. So again, you can practice this without your bow, um, just E to F sharp. Or on the other strings, that would be on the G string, A to B, D to E. B to C sharp. And then you're going to add in your bow and do separate bows for each note. And then try it while slurring the two notes together so that you can get a really clear idea of what your left hand is doing so you don't have those separations between the notes. So you could hear a little slide in there. So your job is to try to get that as seamless as possible. So have fun with this and be patient. Again, if you need to separate the hands, just do left hand first, but I am happy you watched the video and I'm looking forward to making the next one. Bye!